So, Batlands is a fantastic place. Like, you get to go there, holiday, and just do the stuff that you want to do for fun. You can go and ride on a bike, or you can go and see some famous acts. You can, well, if you're lucky. But in this documentary today, we're going to be having a look at different things about Batlands to what you can do, what is Batlands, Batlands, and also a little bit of the history of Batlands. This is version two of the Batlands life. Here is the intro. is Butlins to start off with. Well, Butlins is a holiday resort that is based in three areas around the country. You got one in Bognor, Mainland and Skidness. Every single one of them is different. They have different restaurants, different hotels and you could see that the places that you can stay are different as well and this is also a good thing because like for instance if you want a certain thing you can go there every one every single button in this resort has a holiday has a entertainment zone and I'm not too sure about arcade and also other stuff as well different ones have been different ones have been improved and also other famous people have also been there for instance Dick and Dom and Lewis Diversity Secondly, what is the history and then also the facts of Butlings? Well first, the facts of Butlings, I've done a 5 facts video on it so if you want to go and check it out go ahead and click on one of the cards no, yes, one of the cards and also link in the description as well. As of the history of Butlins, the, the first one as of the first Butlins we saw opened in Skateness on the 11th of April 1936 and was founded by Billy Butlins who lived on from that time until he passed away in 1980 and also in the after that it introduced new stuff and also in 2000 it introduced the new um introduced this new place let's say most of them call them the bane they do um kind of like this big center where um where you've got arcade stuff and also you've got entertainment um, from what I know, this is a Butlins Bognor from what I'm talking about, so, yeah, so, and also, there is other history stuff that you want to go and check out, link down below to that Butlins site. Hmm. So, what does Butlins have? Well, as of I know, I've only been to one, as of Bognor, I've stayed there for a holiday, and I've also been there for a day. Unless if you don't like entertainment, don't go there for a day. But what they've got there is that they've got a place that you can stay as of hotels. Or if you don't even like hotels at all, you can stay in one of the little um, houses you could. Or you could stay... Um, I think that's really it, but they're also at other buttons for sorts. They've also got other places that you can also stay within the resort. As sort of, you can stay somewhere near the water, near the um, lakes, I think it's called. Um, and also, you can have um, breakfast there. Sometimes the hotel will include of breakfast, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there uh, are also other places, and also you may see the um, Papa John's 
Uh, so I know that some of them have Pizza Hut and also Burger King as well, including other shops um, that you can get your food from. I know that one of them's got eSport, I think it's called, I can't remember. But, um, and as of that, it's also got arcades, bowling, uh, swimming pools, and also a big fun one, uh, golf, and um, arcades, I think I've already said that. Uh, also, as you know, it's got shows and entertainment. Uh, Sunday is like usually the night where I guess a bit rubbish, I would say. It's always like on a Sunday where they always have this wrestling on or something else is happening. It's just boring. <laughs> it is. So, yeah, that's what they've got there. And you can basically have fun. You can go, if you're near Bogdo, you can go out to the beach if you want to. So, what can you do at Butlins? Well, there's tons upon tons of stuff that you could actually do at Butlins. Now, you can do activities, you can do sports, you can even go out of the Butlins area. Um, so let's just break it down and take a step. Activities and stuff usually start very, very early in the morning from 7 and end before about 8 o'clock, I would say. But, uh, for the adult stuff, it'll go on until midnight. You can do stuff from archery, um, from a football to a basketball club. You can also ride these mini bikes around the campus and also there are certain areas that you can't go in when riding them as of health and safety reasons. Um, you can also do um, archery, you can also do go-karting, go to the arcades, they've also got those slingshot machines and much much more. Now other stuff that they've got or I've stuff I haven't told you yet. Well they've got a website, app and social media including the most popular one of all, the U they've got their own YouTube channel which they haven't updated within three to four months they haven't. So yeah not very much stuff on there. Also they've got a app as well so you can go ahead and see what's on and it's also going to be useful if you're actually there. Um I guess that's really it. Oh, well, yeah, my call friend. Sometimes they have famous people there. They've had like Stephen, uh, that magic guy, and also they've got, they've also had sometimes Dick and Dom, and also Diversity. Uh, and they also have tribute bands and much, much more. So, yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. Anyway, um, there's not really anything else I need to say but I'm gonna leave you with this as of some clips of the past battling stuff so I want to thank you for watching this version of the documentary um, hopefully I've made it somehow different and if you like this make sure you go like and subscribe and also I guess well here's the credits and then the after credits scene also we're at buttons here do, 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 do. I can't see what I'm looking at, so I'm sorry. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.